Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm. I am back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix Quail and becoming more self-sufficient. We are starting a playlist today called Quail for Profit. It will be on our YouTube channel under the playlist, which is the third tab over on our YouTube channel called Quail for Profit. Uh, and we are gonna do a ton of videos on that. We are gonna start with the basics, so it might be a little boring. Uh, however, I think it's vital that we start with the basics, and that is where a lot of people make mistakes, is they don't do the boring stuff first. They just wanna get into the exciting stuff. Uh, and in that case, you don't have a strong foundation. Um, so uh, bear with me and, uh, and we will get to some really good information. We're gonna talk about marketing strategies, advertising strategies, different ways to sell your quail, different, uh, different avenues to go, uh, how many you should have, when you should increase, when you should decrease, uh, price points, um, what kind of customers you're looking for, so on and so forth. So we're gonna get into a lot of information. Uh, today, we are going to be breaking down a couple of rules that I have uh, as far as our business goes and things that you need to think about or should think about uh, and decide what works best for you and your farm and your business. Um, but before I do that, if you will be so kind to hit that like button and support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. There's two things that that does. One, it spreads the word on YouTube about quail in general, um, which is always helpful. And number two, it makes me feel better. So hit the like button, I greatly appreciate it. Now, I do have a lot of videos planned for this playlist alone. And then the next playlist is probably going to be my favorite. So you want to make sure you're up to date. So make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. So that, that way you can get a notification every time I post a video and I can help you on your journey with Caternix Quail. Now remember, I will be posting a video every Saturday about this playlist, and every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live right here on the YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, and we do a live Q&A, a live question and answer. So if you have any questions about the videos I've posted, or this video, or whatever, anything that I can help you with concerning Caternix Quail, you can jump on there, ask your questions. We have a good time. We uh, chat back and forth. It's a nice community and uh, we'd love to have you there. So make sure you check that out Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm. I think I have bored you enough. So let's move on to the next section, shall we? Um, hit the like button. So we're gonna talk about quail for profit. Uh, and uh, like I said, we're gonna talk about a lot of different aspects, but there are five key rules that I have, and I'm gonna share those with you. We're gonna break those down, so I'm gonna talk about the first two today. Um, and again, a lot of people will know this, a lot of people will understand this, a lot of people think that this is common sense. However, this needs to be your foundation. If your foundation is just, I'm gonna get quail, and then I'm gonna sell them, and then I'm gonna make money, that foundation will crumble. Uh, but if you have a strong foundation and you build uh, continuously and on purpose, then uh, you can go real far. Um, a little bit of background on me, uh, which I don't really like to talk about, but I feel like if I'm gonna be talking about quail for profit, you should probably know why I'm doing it. Uh, so we have a business called My Shire Farm. It's quality quail. Uh, and we have about 6,000 quail, uh, Caternix, and uh, we specialize in Caternix, and uh, we sell about 600,000 eggs a year, uh, and that is locally, we ship all over the U.S., we're MPIP and AI clean. Uh, we started the business about nine years ago. Uh, next year will be our 10-year anniversary, which is pretty exciting. Uh, Jenna, my wife, started the business. I kind of took it over uh, two years later, and uh, now I am full-time. I've been full-time on the farm for about four years now. So this pays for my family, me, the business, the rest of the farm. Uh, and, uh, and so you can make a living off of this and it can be a, a side business, which can uh, bring, generate quite a bit of money for you if you do everything correctly. So uh, that's a little background on me. If you have any questions, again, make sure you join our YouTube channel. Uh, on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we can go live and uh, we can answer any questions uh, that you might have to help you and help you understand more. So let's talk about the first rule. 
this rule is going to sound like I'm going to discourage you from not only raising quail, but trying to make it a side business. I am not. I just want to be honest with you. So with that being said, we're going to talk about lifestyle. When we started this business, uh, Jenna was thinking that we would run, we would sell Coternics and Bob Whites and Chuckers and just game, game birds in general. Um, I can't do that. Uh, I don't know if it's because I can't multitask or I'm just not smart enough to raise all kinds of animals. I'm not too sure why, but I decided that I wanted to specialize in one thing and uh, the Bob Whites were fine, the Chuckers were fine, the Pheasants were fine, uh, but Coternix Quail really got me. The reason they really got me is because they are perfect for self-sustainability and starting out um, and trying to become more self-sufficient. Uh, it is a booster for you to move on to other things. Um, and uh, they're, they're, they're bred for meat and eggs and I just really, really got a passion for it. Uh, so we decided to sell everything else and just focus on Coternix Quail. When I decided that I wanted to go uh, full, full time and quit my job and do this, uh, it was about a year and a half process before we actually did it. And uh, I committed right then that it was not going to be a job, it was going to be a lifestyle. So with that being said, running this business is seven days a week, uh, six to 14 hours a day, depending. Um, but it's seven days a week, 365 days a year. There are no holidays, there are no breaks. It is, you're feeding, you're watering, you're collecting eggs, uh, you're selling, you're shipping, you're advertising, you're getting them ready, you're hatching, you're moving quail, you're doing a breeding program. I mean, it is a constant, constant thing. I'm not trying to discourage you. And if you have a passion to help people and encourage people to get involved with this and be more self-sufficient and uh, you enjoy this lifestyle, then this is for you. Uh, but if you think you're gonna make a quick buck, Coternix quail and farming in general it, nothing's quick about it. It is slow and steady, which we'll get to, uh, but it is a lifestyle. Um, again, I'm not trying to discourage you, uh, but uh, I want you to know the behind the scenes as well. Uh, another, another topic or another aspect that I want to mention about lifestyle is, um, in my opinion, there's two ways to raise Coternix quail. There is raising quail for meat and eggs for you and your family some friends, some family members, um, and then there's a business side, right? Well, with that being said, if I was just raising for us, when we started, we were just raising for us, uh, then we raised them like we raise everything else here. We raise them like we raised our cattle or our pigs or our emus or our goats or whatever else. When we decided to make a business, you have to step it up. Now, I know that this sounds like common sense, right? But you got to think about it and how are you going to set yourself apart from just a backyard uh, person that raises quail to a breeder that might be in your backyard. I mean, we were in a garage for the first seven years. Um, so being backyard is perfect. That's what I love about Coternix quail is everybody can do it and it can be a backyard setup. However, what's going to set you apart? Well, the main thing that's gonna set you apart and with and will help with longevity is quality. It's not just quality of your eggs. It's just not a good hatch rate. It's not just uh, the colors and um, the weight of your quail, but it's how you raise them. So the way that we look at it is these quail, these 6,000 quail that we take care of every day are not ours. They're yours because we sell them to you, right? Or to a bunch of people. And so we are taking care of them for you. So we go way above and beyond. We do an extremely high feed that we could do a lot cheaper if we were just raising for us, but we want the best quality. And so we try to portray that uh, as well as we hear a lot of feedback from great hatch rates, great weight, great colors, great, great, great. Well, that's, that's on purpose. That's not an accident because we spend a whole lot more time taking care of these quail than we would by just raising them for us. Uh, so again, 
it's a lifestyle choice as well as you have to put more into it if you're going to sell because that's what your customers deserve. Yeah? Again, if you have any questions, join our YouTube channel, go to our uh, live Q and A's every Sunday and I'll be happy to go in depth about anything that you have any questions on. The second one is something that's very, um, very dear to me. I think that this is one of the biggest uh, rules that I have and something that you just need to think about and decide what's best for you. Slow and steady wins the race. The biggest mistake I see a lot of people make is getting too big too quick. A lot of people focus on the amount of quail that you have rather than building at a slow pace with your customers. So if I can give you any advice in this video, it's this right here. Build your customer base while you're building your quail. It is completely okay to try to sell quail when you only have 40 quail. That's okay. That's all right. You build your customer customer base as you're building quail. All right. So slow and steady wins the race. I'm gonna give you a story. I know this video is gonna be very, very long. The rest of them I will try to shorten, but I wanted the first video, I wanted you to know where I was coming from, what we do, where we're doing it, and why we're doing it. And I wanna give you the reasons behind why I'm saying what I'm saying. So bear with me. I know I'm, I'm probably boring the crap out of you, but I promise after you watch this, think about what I said and decide what's best for you, and it will help you on your journey, I promise. So with that being said, the biggest mistake <clears throat> that I've seen is I get 15, 10 to 15 people a year that will contact me and say, yeah, I'm trying to buy two to 5,000 quail. Usually usually the, the sweet spot is 3,000. Yeah, I'm trying to buy 3,000 quail. Uh, I'm gonna get in the business, okay? Well, uh, how many quail do you have now? No, I, I haven't raised quail, but I've raised chickens in the past and uh, I'm sure I could do this. Who's your customer base? Oh, well, we'll just advertise when uh, when they hatch out. Okay. That's a big mistake. I try to deter people from that, but um, if you wanna buy my eggs, I'm not, I mean, I'm gonna explain to you why you should probably start off a little bit smaller, but if you insist, then I will sell you the eggs, right? Because I am in business to make money as well. But, uh, so what they'll do is they'll get these 3,000 eggs and then they'll hatch out 2,400 of them and they have no customer base. So the best thing to do is grow your business as you're growing your quail. You do have to do a startup. If you're going to do this as a side business, I have talked to a lot of people and a lot of people say, I don't want to make it a living. I want to make it a side business. I want to make around a thousand dollars a month. Okay. Well, we're going to get into that in a different video as far as breaking the numbers down on how many quail you would need and what you would need to sell to make a thousand dollars profit a month. But right now we're going over the rules. So with slow and steady, in my opinion, it's better to start off with, let's say 50 quail, right? And let's say you get 40 eggs a day. Well, you sell those 40 eggs a day and you go on a week wait. Well, once you're on a wait, for over a week, then you increase. So let's say you bump it up to 100 eggs a day, right? So then you build your business and now you're on a two week wait for those 100 eggs. Now you know you can go to the next step, but you don't want to increase your business without, or you don't want to increase your quail without increasing your customer base. I see a lot of people make that uh, mistake. Um, also, I can't tell you exactly, we will do a math video, but I can't tell you exactly how many quail you should have, uh, as far as what your business, uh, can handle, can hold, uh, how much you want to sell. We're, we'll do an example for like a thousand, uh, dollars a month profit, but I can't really tell you how many quail you need. However, if you use this step and decide, well, I'm selling X amount now, and I have this extra. Okay, well then you need to build your customer base, not your quail, right? Okay, well, I'm always out. Now you build your quail, you keep your customer base, you add, you add to your quail, and then you increase your customer base. Um, but that is a very big mistake I, I see a lot of people make. Um, 
I'm gonna stop there because we're already at 15 minutes. I do have three more rules, uh, but like I said, in this playlist, we're gonna talk about a lot of different stuff. The next uh, rule that I'm gonna talk about is just going to be a topic by themselves because it, it is um, the most important to me, and I think it should be the most important to everybody that's going to be selling quail. Um, but uh, I hope that this helps. Again, I'll be on a playlist every Saturday. I'll be posting a new video. And every Sunday at 7 p.m., I'll be going live where you can ask the questions and I will help you answer, uh, or I, I will try to help answer those questions to help you on your journey with Caternix Quail and starting your business. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below what you think of this video so I can help uh, educate you and encourage you a little bit more on, uh, on the road that we go. Um, again, thank you very much. Until next time, stay safe and we will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m.